I went fishing and I caught something. One of the biggest food trends that I've noticed on the internet right now is caviar, which like, who knew that was gonna happen? Pretty much thanks to TikTok. Obviously, I'm plant-based, I can't eat caviar, so I'm gonna see if I can make a plant-based version of it. So I've been kind of experimenting with this idea of making caviar because one day I was cruising through Amazon and I found this, the Sverificator, terrible name amazing little fun tool to play with if you're into like playing around with food. So I've been pretty much just caviaring most things. Obviously I don't want to get left behind and I want to join in on the trends. So about a couple months ago, I tried making a vegan version of a black caviar and put it on my TikTok. If you don't follow me there, go follow me over there. It's fun, fun little place. But I thought today we would try making salmon roe instead. Perfect for like sushi. Let's see if I can do it. originally made the black caviar, there were a few things that really helped with the taste and texture and all that stuff, but it also made it very dark and we really want to keep that like bright orangish color that Salmon Row has. So I kind of have to rework what I did there. So let's think about the flavor profile. It's very salty and kind of tastes like the ocean. I also find that like ocean flavor also has a lot of like umami to it. So I think we're gonna make like the broth broth with MSG, shit ton of salt. So then you have the umami and you have the salt because MSG is also a little bit salty, but it's more umami than salt. For color, I found a natto powder. I think that's going to give us our best bet instead of something, I mean, I guess we could use something like carrots, but then you have like a carrot flavor and this doesn't really taste like much not so much like carrot does like it has a flavor but it's not as strong as carrot and then obviously I'm going to do this verification so we have sodium alginate and sodium chloride so because I want these to dissolve I'm gonna use boiling hot water and it is I think for every cup of liquid you need like one and a quarter teaspoons of the sodium alginate so we have hot water it's like a cup, right? Okay, I'm gonna do this in the blender. You can also do this with a hand blender, but I'm just gonna do it with a blender because it's easier. About a tablespoon of MSG, about a teaspoon of salt, and then a teaspoon of the annatto powder. All right, let's blend this together. Oh, I forgot to add the alginate. <laughs> I forgot to add the alginate. Let's add that in. That would have been a disaster. Let's try that again. It, yeah, it's got like seafood section of the grocery store damp smell to it. I mean, I guess that doesn't sound very appetizing, but it is what we're going for. I don't need all this stuff here. Clear your workstation. So we can't have any air bubbles. So I need a strainer. Okay, so I wanna get the bubbles out. So I'm gonna put it through this fine mesh sieve here. And this is just going to help with the bubbles. You can also like tap it a bunch, but we really added a lot of air into this, which means there's gonna be all kinds of weird shapes and that's not what we're going for. So I'm just gonna stick it into my fridge here, which is very full. I wanted to take a quick break to tell you guys about today's sponsor. It is Compliment. Guys, I'm obsessed with this company. They're an innovative plant-based company that specializes in high quality vegan supplements. I was sent their essential vitamins, like I guess like a year ago and started taking it and completely fell in love with them. This is science-backed multi-nutrient. It has B12, D3, DHA, iodine, zinc, magnesium, selenium. A lot of the stuff that it can be difficult to get on a vegan diet if you're not like, paying super attention, which let's face it, I'm not all the time. And honestly, most of the population also isn't getting enough of this stuff, even if you're not plant-based. Their mission is to provide plant-based alternatives that meet the nutritional needs of individuals following a vegan lifestyle. But of course you don't have to be vegan to use the products. What sets Compliment apart from other brands and companies in this market is their commitment to transparency, sustainability, and simplicity. Also to create all of these products, they collaborate with a team of doctors, nutritionists, and registered or dietitians to make sure that what you're getting is the highest quality ingredients and perfect for your unique 
diet as a plant-based person. These professionals provide valuable insights and guidance to ensure that their products provide the necessary nutrients for optimal health with clean and sustainable ingredients. They also prioritize sustainable and eco-friendly packaging and 10% of their profits go to animal advocacy organizations, which obviously we love that. So the products that I love, like I said, the essentials, which comes in this reusable jar. So this is completely like compostable, love that. I'm always on the hunt for a protein powder, not because vegans don't get enough protein, but with the rigorous workouts that I do, I just need like a quick protein hit right after the gym. So I have the chocolate organic protein and then I have the unflavored, so I can kind of just add that to whatever. And what I love about this is that it has this like unique blend of different types of protein that's in it, which I haven't seen anywhere else. And then of course a greens powder because everyone needs a greens powder in their life. It's just quick for people that can't put too much thought into what they're eating or are really busy and on the go. And it just like, it's a one-stop shop and I love that. So make sure that you check them out. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box down below as well as my coupon code, which is edgyveg, which will give you 15% off your order. Honestly guys, love it. Check it out. I love to know your feedback if you've tried it in the comment section down below. Okay, so it's been a few hours. It's been sitting here. I'm gonna skim off any of these bubbles. We just don't want them in our caviar. So all of this stuff, we don't want this. Science is fun. This might be the only appliance I've ever actually like kept all the things together. I'm gonna go with a smaller nozzle. Ooh, okay, a few things. You need your spherificator. Take a sip of this homemade kombucha here that I made myself. Yes, Candice, that's what homemade means. I have a TikTok video on it. Go watch it if you follow me. I need to set up my station. We need this thing again, but then we also need another one. And luckily, I do have two and one is smaller, but it is also dirty because apparently I didn't think to do the dishes before <laughs> trying to experiment here. All right, so we need about two cups of water. For every two cups of water, we need one teaspoon of calcium chloride. So just whisk that until it's dissolved. Almost there. I don't remember if this reached the wall last time. No, I did not choose this for myself. So this is a bit darker than a regular salmon roe, but I think it's okay. I'm gonna fill this up. Is there a fill line? I don't remember. We put it in there, we wait a minute or two, take it out, put it in the clean water, which is going to get rid of the like taste from the calcium chloride. And then we're going to put it in this third one, and then we will have salmon roe. Listen, if you don't have one of these, you can also use an eyedropper, this, or they have caviar machines as well that are manual. They're not like electric like this. And essentially you like push it through and it like drops in and then you can do a bunch as opposed to like one, two, three, which is exactly why I bought this. Okay, let's see how it goes. They have tails. Why do they have tails? I wonder if I do it closer if there's, oh no, there's definitely more tail. So let's drop it from a high distance. Yeah, that's better. They're a little misshapen, but they're definitely caviar looking. At least they don't look like tadpoles. So a minute. Hey Siri, set a timer for two minutes. So they're keeping their shape, which is great. Ooh. Okay, see that's what we don't want. Okay, okay. The annatto does leave little specks there, but I actually don't mind that. Because that's what we don't want. They look like tadpoles. You're gonna live over here. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm super curious. Mm, that's really good. Okay, I have some sushi. Put it on top of that. I mean, that's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. I want you to be less poop-like and more pretty. Well, poop it is. Don't mind me, I'm just admiring my work. Wow, Candice, good job. These look so cute. So you can essentially just use this wherever you would use salmon roe or caviar or whatever. And you have it like this on sushi without soy sauce. So you guys can yell at me, but here we are. Mmm, 
it's like the perfect amount of saltiness. It looks so cute. I'm so happy. I'm so impressed with myself. In terms of like how long this is gonna last in the fridge, probably not very long. Especially when you do stuff like this, you wanna use it right away. Mmm. Okay, I'm gonna tweak up this recipe and then it's gonna be on my website. Make sure that you check out Compliment. The link is going to be in the description box as well as the code. They're such a cool company. I'm so in love with their products, so definitely check them out. And I guess see you next time. Bye. Round what? Since we said that.